Hello, my name is Martin Rosenfeld. I am the administrator of the villa at Park Ridge, which is a uh, long-term care and rehabilitation facility, 144 beds. We're located in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Uh, we provide care to uh, all insurers and patients from pretty much within a, a 10 mile radius of our building. Uh, we have approximately 150 employees and uh, the hospitals we serve are, are University of Michigan uh, as well as St. Joe uh, of Ann Arbor. I've been in the business for well over 40 years uh, in one way or the other and look forward to participating in this uh, program today. Why did you choose this particular field of work? When I was in college many years ago, uh, I was a pre-med student for a period and found that was much too difficult for me. I wasn't a great student. I was playing football and rugby and I was in clubs and who had time for school? <laughs> but one day I met with a physician who told me about a field uh, of uh, business called hospital administration. And we talked for quite a while about it. And then I went and I met for two hours with the director of Burley Hospital in Flint and he really got me excited about the profession of uh, healthcare administration. It just so happened that Michigan State University, where I was a student, uh, had uh, recently started a program called Health Facilities Administration, bachelor's level program, part of the hotel restaurant school. So I switched majors and uh, have been in it ever since. What do you like and dislike about what you do? I love the people aspect of it. I love the interaction uh, at all levels, whether it is with my staff, uh, with my physicians, with my patients, with the families. So you have a, a wide variety of interactions and communications. Uh, as far as dislikes, it's a highly regulated and I think over-regulated uh, field. Uh, the nursing home field uh, has more regulations than nuclear medicine and or the nuclear industry and that it, it doesn't make sense to me at some point there's 520 some uh, regulations that apply to uh, really Medicare because most of them come out of CMS in uh, Washington but it's the regulatory part but on the other hand that's part of the business too so you you learn them and you live within them and uh, you try to have uh, a, uh, a good survey when they come around. <laughs> Looking back over your career what would you have done different? I don't think there's really anything I would have done differently and I think and all of my experiences as a hospital administrator, as a law firm administrator, as a medical practice manager, as a nursing home administrator are so closely tied together in terms of the organizational design and effectiveness that uh, changing any of it, I probably wouldn't be as, as good as I am at what I do. That's why I wouldn't have changed anything. What do you wish you had known earlier in your career? How most nursing home owners don't think that their administrator should have a decent office or an assistant. It seems to be endemic in the, in the business that we don't need administrative assistance. That bugs me because there's so many things I do that, that I shouldn't be doing. They should be done by someone who isn't uh, earning the salary that I'm earning or having the responsibilities that I have, but that's the nature of the business, so I get along with it. Other than that, I don't think I would really change it. And I know that that's, it, it, it's an easy answer, but it's a truthful answer. <laughs> Lastly, mm -hmm. what do 
you what do you see as the future of Asian management service? What would you do? I think it's one of the most exciting elements of the healthcare continuum. Not just because there are more people who are aging, uh, but there are so many different places for them to age. They can age in place, as they say. Uh, and, and you've got this continuum of care that's available with assisted living and independent living and, and you know, as, as I'm approaching the age where I'd like to have a house with the master suite on the first floor instead of climbing stairs. I'm seeing myself how <clears throat> as you age, your needs change. And there will always be a need for a nursing home, long-term care. There will always be a need for a acute care hospital. There will always be a need for a short-term rehab facility, home care. I mean, you name the elements of the continuum, there's always something that is going to have more growth, shrinkage, and it's so dynamic that it's very exciting for those who are entering the field. First of all, just deciding what it is you want to do is, is going to be difficult for them because there's so many ways that, that they can apply their education and their talent and their skills. So it's an ever-changing uh, element of our life, and I'm just proud to be part of it. Thank you. I've enjoyed our conversation. Thank you. I have too.